Is Simon Lebib a fake Israeli billionaire? In 2019, social media started flooding with Simon Lebib after an Israeli organization published the Tinder Swindler article. The Tinder Swindler, the popular documentary that chronicles the woeful tales of three women who thought they'd met the man of their dreams on Tinder, only to later say he scammed them out of hundreds of thousands of dollars. But the dating app Lothario says that is just not true. He is speaking out with his new girlfriend. So, is Simon Lebib a fake Israeli billionaire? Did he pull scams to be seen as a billionaire? Is the Netflix series The Tinder Swindler about him? Or is Simon Levy even his real name? Hey guys, welcome back to Famous Flair, where we talk about eye-opening facts about the world of fame. Today, we will have a deep insight into the life of Simon Levy, or we may say Shimon Haint. Don't miss any part of the video as we have answered all your doubts about Simon in a section manner. So, let's start. What is Simon Levy known for? The 31 years old, Simon Leviev is now known for clever scams, thefts, frauds, impersonation, and fleeing away from many states. But initially, he started to get famous for being a fake billionaire who scammed many women around the world. First, he earned all the fame for being a young and handsome billionaire with a lavish lifestyle. He used to show off his luxurious life through all his social media and eventually became a Prince Charming by creating a Tinder profile. Later on, he gained immense fame for all the wrong reasons once Israeli journalists exposed him. In short, he is well known for being a fraud that traps women and bankrupts them. What scams did he pull? So what did he do to become such a wanted fraudster? He pretended to be a wealthy bachelor. He played the role of a billionaire on social sites and played it well in real life to scam people. He not only pretended to be rich, but impersonated as the son of a well-known Russian-Israeli tycoon Lev, Levy also known as the King of Diamonds. He used Lev's name to convince people that he belonged to a luxurious background. Once his trapped girlfriends believed in his financial state, he would pull a story that his life was in danger and needed an immense amount of money. He would tell them that he needed to withdraw an amount other than his credit cards and accounts. After getting the amount, he would disappear and leave his girlfriends with massive loans in bankruptcy. History of Hayat and his Scams Shimon Hayat was born in Israel in 1990 and moved to Brooklyn with his family at the age of 15. His family moved in with one of their friend's families, and Shimon was accused of misusing their credit cards at 15. Later, he stole checks from the families and people he worked for. He was accused of stealing a lot, using them for his pilot lessons and buying expensive cars. During his journey from the very start, he has been pretending to be things that he's not. He played the role of a pilot, owning his helicopters, working as a diamond manufacturer, and changing his legal names on and off. How did he scam women that easily? A question that arises is, how could he scam hundreds of women, and none of them suspected his lies? He played it all so real that it was impossible to suspect anything at all. Let's elaborate on what his fake lifestyle was. He would post his luxury cars on Instagram, driving new cars more often, posting himself in designer suits, traveling through private jets, yachts and helicopters. Other than all these fake assets he used to give women expensive gifts, treat them in luxurious restaurants, and take them on pricey trips. He also hired bodyguards and employers to convince his victims. No doubt, nobody ever suspected his scams before they got scammed. Is he even related to the King of Diamonds, Lev Lebiv? No, Simon was not even a distant relative of Lev Lebiv. He somehow used the name of the Levy family to play his games and impersonated their son. Most of the time, he pretended to be a shareholder in their diamond business. His scam caused defamation to the Levy family and mainly to Lev Lebiv. Did the Levy family find about Simon? Very fortunately, yes. As his scams in his family's name caused defamation to the Levy Abs, the news escalated quickly. Later on, Lev Levy made several statements clearing up his position and uncovering the facts. The family was quite furious about the scams pulled by Simon in their name. Lev Levivive stated about the situation, As soon as we learned of the fraud, we filed a complaint with the Israeli police, and we hope that Mr. Haid faces the justice he deserves. He further sued Simon for a considerable amount of money for the fraud and requested his court trials. What is a Tinder swindler? 
things got spiced up when a Netflix series was released with Tinder Swindler. As you guessed, it was a series about Shimon Hayat and his scams. The show quickly elevated on the charts as soon as the audience knew the show's theme. The show covered how Shimon got to the point of scams, scamming people, and luring women into his traps. The show is full of luxurious aesthetics, much similar to those on Shimon's social sites. Moreover, the show mainly focused on his Tinder scams out of countless other crimes. Although some believe that the show is spiced up for views, all the scenes are not natural. On the other hand, some think that the show doesn't show the absolute terror and disgust of his scams and focuses more on aesthetics. Who witnessed the story for Tinder Swindler? Among hundreds of women, only three took part in exposing Shimon Hayat. Cecily, Pernilla S. Johom, Cecily, Pernilla S. Johom, and Aylin Charlotte gave interviews uncovering the story of Tinder Swindler. These threatening messages. Take my advice. Just watch out. We have no idea what he's capable of. It's just been fucking hell. I'm just freaking out. Channels about Shimon 2. Cecilia got in touch with Simon through Tinder and they started dating. She had the same image of Simon as anyone else. After some dating time, Simon told her that he was in danger and needed money. He pretends that money cannot be withdrawn from his accounts. Did Simon find about Tinder Swindler? Yes, he did. The show became so popular that it was impossible to ignore that. The show eventually reached the main character, or we might say the fraudster. What is more, Simon surprisingly responded to the show. He allegedly denied all the allegations and stated, I never pretended to be someone's son. I'll leave the rest to people's imagination. In an interview with the Israeli news channel, he said, These women make some very serious allegations against you. They say they were conned and threatened. They weren't conned and they weren't threatened. Are you the son of a billionaire diamond mogul? No, I am not and I never presented myself. He denied all the accusations and most often fled countries when the lawsuit took action. He disappears and reappears quite frequently. Not very much is known about his current life other than that he still maintains a lavish lifestyle somehow. Did he ever get served with justice? Once in a court trial, Simon Haight got 15 months of jail punishment as he was found guilty. The sad part is that he got released from prison only after five months for his excellent behavior. Also, it was the time of COVID-19 and the jail population was supposed to reduce. Their hearts might be broken during the process, I have every right to name myself as I wish. Are you the son of a billionaire diamond mogul? No, I am not, and I never presented myself. The man living an everyday and luxurious life is wanted in Denmark, Israel, England, Germany, Norway, and Sweden. All of the states have different reports of his frauds. This was all for today. According to you, let us know in the comments what the most shocking part was for you. Please leave a thumbs up and share it with your friends if you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for updates. See you guys in the next mind-blowing video.